all right ladies and gentlemen welcome or welcome back thank you for tuning into my channel i'm the bro gamer and today we just have a very quick i guess showcase if you will just just call these showcases of dragon ball sparking zero particularly the dragon fist goku's dragon fist move that it comes obviously exclusively in his super saiyan three form a move that I know and I'm sure that you guys know very well from the Budokai Tenkaichi, whether it's one, two, three, pretty much any of the games that you guys know. This is just one of those super iconic attacks. And is it is as well. I had forgotten until fairly like fairly recently when I went back and played Budokai Tenkaichi 2 on the channel. I actually forgot that this was actually one of those technically, I'm gonna call it technically a melee move that you can use that can actually affect the big opponents like for example if you're fighting like a grade a perutagon so on and so forth you name it it actually works on them which a lot of the melee attacks do not really most of them do not work on those big enemy types so this is an iconic attack from that i think i'm actually what i'm gonna do after we just quickly watch it in its full screen beauty here by itself i think i'm actually gonna put and i might do this continue to do this up until we get these type of videos certain moves that i may cover just to show i just got this idea to just kind of put the side by side of either like budokai ten one of the budokai tenkaichis whether it's two or three side by side because i really have noticed um i can't remember where it was but i came across a video earlier today where someone actually did that with the transformations like they literally had the Gotenks transformation from I think it was Budokai Tenkai G3 and then the current one and it really shows how this game is like a like literally literally a spitting image of Budokai Tenkai G. it it really just show it really is just that and just current day amplified on another level as far as the effects graphics you know obviously this is a UE5 game UE5 engine you name it, like it really just shows this. So I'm gonna shut up and we'll look at this. And I'm gonna make sure the volume isn't too high. You guys can actually hear me talk. Here. Turn it down a bit. Look at this, look at that. He's doing it against Kid Boo. Oh my god, dude. Pulling this shit out. In, 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 uh, in gameplay, it's going to be absolutely satisfying, legendary, just to see the cinematics alone, right? But just <laughs> when you hit your opponent with this, oh man. Obviously, it'll be game over if the, the health is anywhere near low. I don't know, I'm assuming this is a massive amount of game. It might even be, it doesn't really say, but it might even be an ultimate. You see? It says, oh, it doesn't say it here. But, oh yeah, I would be abusing this move, man. Even though his um Super Saiyan 3 form, like when I was younger, I didn't used to like it because I didn't like I really from you know a young standpoint understand why he was like a lot slower in it. But when he, but his attacks are incredibly powerful, as you guys know. And as you know, I got older, I really appreciated using the Goku Super Saiyan 3 character in the game. I really have. Obviously, it drains a lot of key. I'm sure it will drain a lot of key in this game, too. But, um, side note from that, man. Side note from that. This is just, just beautiful. Honestly, just beautiful. But I will be putting a side by side comparison. For you guys with a montage at the end of the video and i just wanted to say before we officially done with this video that i will not be covering as much of the game like as much as like these little things that come up little videos and whatnot that come up i'm going to be more so up until the game's release obviously which is fairly around the corner covering like the the main meat and potatoes the the, the big or bigger announcements that come with the game going forward. I think it's at a point now where we're not having like any more uh, people come in and play the game to my knowledge. We just had the Tax West and even before that they had a, a lot of people come in to play the previous demo build before that. So I feel like as far as that 
if it's not like officially coming from Bandai or a Sparky Zero team officially, we're not gonna be seeing a lot of that. And I think, um, other than the one trailer, which is gonna, which is gonna show us uh, possibly uh, the rest of the characters in the game. That's that's all we're gonna be getting up until the game's release. I think it's just at the point now where the devs are just gonna be working tirelessly to make this look even better, even better than what it is now. So. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope that that is okay as far as we're not covering as much content that's as major. Um, but I hope that you have an absolute fantastic one. I appreciate you listening to my rambling on this video. And as always, as always, guys, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to drop by. Hope that you have an absolute fantastic one. Peace.